Greetings from Grayson Stadler. Today I will be introducing the GSI Video Otoscope and GSI Suite 2.9. GSI Suite 2.9 supports the functionality of the GSI Video Otoscope. The Otoscope works a little bit differently than our other devices. For example, in the case of audiometry, you will store the audiogram on the AudioStar Pro or Pello, speech results, and when testing is done, send the results up into Suite. In the case of the Otoscope, Suite controls the device. So you launch Suite and then control it within Suite and capture images. So a little bit different than what we're used to. The Otoscope includes the, the Otoscope itself, which is uh, one cable USB powered and 100 disposable specula as well as a weighted otoscope stand. The otoscope itself only has two buttons, on and off, and the camera or take a picture icon, if you will. The tips can be placed onto the end of the otoscope and twisted slightly to secure them into place. Before using the otoscope, you want to connect it to GSI Suite. So first thing you're going to do is plug the otoscope into an available USB port on the PC that has Suite installed. You're going to power on the otoscope, make sure the light turns on, and then launch GSI Suite. And this is something to remember in the future. When you're going to use the otoscope, you want to have it on before you open Suite. Once you open Suite, you want to select the Configure icon up in the top toolbar, go to the Devices tab, and below OAE you can see Otoscopy, and you want to make sure that that is selected. In that same window, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you'll see the Video ot Otoscope there. Select the drop-down arrow from Camera 1 and select VGA Webcam. That is the name of the GSI suite or GSI video otoscope. The other thing you'll also see there are customizable labels and I'll show you that in a minute. Once it's connected you'll be able to see up at the top a new icon, a cute little uh, otoscope there that when it's connected and you're ready to test it'll be white. We've added the otoscopy tab to the right of tympanometry and once you're in otoscopy, you'll be able to see how the images are organized for ear canal, outer ear, and other. With the otoscope, you have to have an existing patient selected or a patient with at least an ID or a patient ID entered. So you can't launch suite and start taking pictures. You have to have a patient selected. And once you've selected a patient or created a new patient, then you're able to proceed. When you select the otoscope icon, the otoscopy test window will appear. In the middle of the screen is the live video. So the otoscope, if you move it around, will be taking a video of whatever your um, pointing it at, if you will. So that's your live video. To take an image, you can press the capture icon at the top of this window or just press the button on the otoscope itself. You can capture up to 24 images and if there's more than eight, a scroll bar will appear and you can scroll over and look at all of those uh, images. It will not save those 24. It will only save assigned images, and you can assign six images per ear. In this example, we have the ear canal one and two, and we've only assigned one of the three pictures. There's also outer ear one and two, and other one and two. Remember the customized labels in the configuration menu in this example, hearing aid serial number was one of the customized labels. So if I had a hearing aid, I could take a picture of the serial number and store that, that image. So to, 
to assign an image, you just drag and drop it into the, the category um, that you want it to save. And if I zoom in after I've assigned a, an image, if I zoom into it, you have the trash can icon on the right, which will delete it. You have the four arrow icon, which will enlarge the image. And then you have a check mark if that image has been assigned, dragged down to the right ear or left ear. Kind of hard to see on the three images here. And then finally, you can add notes under each image if you want. You just simply click in there and type away. So once you're done, you've assigned your images, um, you want to press save. After you save, it, you will get up and you try and close the window. If you haven't assigned every image, you'll be alerted to that fact. In this example, I've only assigned one of the three images, so those other two are going to be dele deleted. So in other words, every captured image is not saved by GSI Suite. Only the ones that have been assigned are saved. So let's see how this works. So in this example, there's a patient ID there. I'm going to click on the Otoscope icon. Here you can see the live video of an ear canal. I'm using my mouse to capture the image or take the picture, but I can press the button on the otoscope if I want. Once I'm satisfied with the pictures that I've taken, I can assign them by simply dragging and dropping them into the appropriate location. In this case, I'm in the right ear. I've assigned one, now I'm going to assign a second ear canal. So by assigning it, that means I'm saving it. And even though this is ear canal, just for demonstration, I've saved an outer ear and an other. And then I'm going to save my, my assigned images and close the window. And here you can see I only assigned four of the five. So I'm alerted that one is discarded. Here are my two for the ear canal, the outer ear image, and the other image. And that's all there is. The other thing you can do is actually go in and edit results. So for example, if you forgot to add some text below the image and you want to, to add that, or if testing was interrupted and you need to take some more images, say for the left ear, you can do that. So way, the way it works is obviously you have to have the uh, device connected to suite and on. And then if you look at the otoscopy icon, it's grayed out, but there is a drop down menu there. So if you select that, you can go to edit tests because I already have images there, so I, I'm going to edit. Again, you're in you know, otoscopy tests, you've got that live video as if it were a brand new test. In this example, I'm just adding to the bottom of that saved image. Here you can see what happens when I enlarge it. So, but if I wanted, I could take more pictures and assign them. So once I, I'm happy with my edits, I can save it and then I can close it. And now you can see the texts are added um, to the bottom of that image. So that is how to edit your otoscopy findings. Moving on to reporting. In GSI Suite 2.9, the Manage Templates location has changed. From the main screen, the Configure icon now has a drop-down menu, which includes configuration, so the traditional configuration, but also the Manage Templates section. So if you're going to go in and add otoscopy to a report or modify some of your reports, this is where you're going to go, Manage Templates. In this case, in this example, I've selected a template and I'm going to edit. And if you look on the left side of the screen at the bottom, we've added otoscopy. So the otoscopy elements are otoscopy image and otoscopy test information. So just like everything else in template manager or editor, you're going to drag those images over and into your reports. In GSI Suite 2.9, we've added two new uh, locked report templates. One is the Comprehensive Combined, and that's the 
template that has audiometry, tympanometry, reflexes, OAE, and then we've added video uh, otoscopy on page two because that report is fairly crowded. And then we've added an otoscopy only template. Okay, so let's review. GSI Suite 2.9 supports the GSI video otoscope. The video otoscope within Suite allows you to capture up to 24 images. It will allow you to save 12 images or six per ear and will also allow you to go in and make edits to your otoscopy test data. And then finally, the manage report templates has moved to the main screen under the configuration dropdown. Look for the video otoscope to be added to other GSI devices in the future. Thank you for listening.